Hello and welcome to this final video which is basically just covering some bug fixing issues which I see a lot of kids struggle with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically show you some common errors which you might come across when you're following along with this project. This area down the bottom right hand corner is where any syntax errors or any errors will appear. The most common thing which will often happen is forgetting the case of semicolon. Often Greenfoot is pretty good in highlighting exactly the area of where it notices something is missing or something is wrong and down the bottom it will often say what is it expecting. So here it can say it is expecting a semicolon like so. If I do accidentally call something the wrong name, as you can see I've just called something grass but obviously I can see that I haven't created an object called grass that so I've got grass run, two, three and four. So if I just reinstate this to grass one everything is fine. Another common case is if I call this grass, again it will see grass1 as not really being the right object. So make sure your objects are called co coherently. Same thing, if I have a capital letter, it again won't recognize it. Another thing which I commonly see happening is missing the amount of brackets. So in something like this where I've got an if statement and within the if statement I've got something else within there, if I remove one of these brackets it will say highlight the line where it's expecting something else to happen. Again it is saying it's expecting a closing curly bracket. If I add another one in there it seems fine. One final thing which I do see quite commonly is especially this one reach end of file one passing. This basically means that you have one, two, three opening brackets, but the program is only seeing two closing brackets, so it doesn't know where the file ends. If I had another one by here, you can see that it's clearly trying to show me with colors where the blue if statement opens and ends, where the act method opens and ends in yellow, and also where the class ends in green. So if I remove this last one, it doesn't know where the class ends. Cool. You'll most commonly see this within the if statements if you're adding in the functionality of left, right, down, and up. So just be clear and careful when you're following along with the instructions. You make sure you include every closing bracket within the if statement and make sure you have the final one at the end as well. If you ever need any more help, make sure you go over the instructions again, just double check, try and read what the error message is trying to say, and if not, have a look through some examples, or if you need additional help, try and Google the error message, as it might even give some helpful tips of people who have been in a similar problem.